Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Elden Ring, side quest and such, I found a forge. And we're going to go in it, and boy it has an evocative name too. What is- hang on. What's it called again? Ruined Forge of Starfall Past. Now there is a name for a forge. I don't know what it means, but I like it. Also, we should go ahead and... Yeah. That'll help. Okay. Anywho. Let's get in trouble. There were some misbegotten outside, so there being some more in here makes sense. And I have a feeling we'll also run into some of the bigger golem things again. I'd be surprised if not. We're going to get super spotted. Or not. Surprising. They don't see so good. And I am super grateful. Not missing anything important, am I? No more than usual, I'm sure. A smith script spear. Tell me of this. A uh, spear engraved with a smith script. That tracks a throwing weapon created with the smithing arts. Ooh. Execute a strong attack, a dashing strong attack, or a mounted strong attack to throw the spear. Incompatible with ashes of war that grant skills with an affinity. Neat. Probably less good than you'd hope, but neat. Novel. There's another one down there. Are you patrolling or are you staying in place? I think you're staying in place. We'll sneak up then. Appreciating the free smithing stones, even if... Buying them is not that difficult at this point. And that'll probably get opened with the switch up there. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Ow. Hey. Spicy goo. You dare. I can throw stuff too. I'm all nervous in here. There's one of the golems, I think. Maybe. Up there? Probably. Oh, and one down here, too. They didn't used to have pots on their back. Or cauldrons. Whatever. Well, that's not what I was going for. Oh, hey, you're like the Dark Souls 3 enemies a little bit. That's scary, but fun. Can I hit you with this? Well, not like that. I mean, the... 
this, you know. Um, do gotta focus fire there, buddies. Kind of underwhelming. Maybe some big charged attacks, jumping attacks, etc. Might be the, um, way to go. Staff. Go for some staggers. All right, all right. With the lava. I like your apron. Good apron you have. There we go. Better. Tanky things. What is this? Hit them where they're weakest. Gotcha. I guess that's similar to the uh, other note we got in the other forge. Makes sense to put it kind of in both places if you're going to put it in one. Given the player might never find one of them. <laughs> We jumping up. Another one up there. Okay. Will this work? I don't know if this will work. Maybe we're just running this way. Yeah, I didn't see a thing I could actually jump to. From there, anyway. Yeah, let's keep going this way. No, you don't. I says. No, you don't. Ah, can't believe you're just out of reach. The range on this is bonkers. Ha. Gotcha. Nope. I had a feeling. Good try. Good try. Ladder. Danger. Yep, yep. Just one danger, but danger. Almost thought you were ignoring me for a second there. Eek. A little early. Thank you. Goodbye. Not staying to fight you. Y'all are too tanky. And there's no way you can climb this ladder. Hmm. Dang it. Darn slimes. Oh, you're petting that one. That's cute. I love it. Petting or creating, and petting seems, yeah. You have a pet. I love it. I was just going to sneak past. Y'all could have ignored me. Everyone could have been happy. Gonna see how many of those fights I can avoid. Hmm. Oop. Cat wants out. Hold on. I guess I was talking too loud. And she found it annoying. How do I lower this? Maybe just by jumping down. Hitting that switch. Although that might just open that. Yeah, okay. Let's go this way first. 
Who's sneaking up? It's gonna be someone. There's no way this is just an empty room I can take things from. Yep. I figured. That's right. What is a lot of you? Come on. Don't miss. Gotcha. Might just be easier to run, let them drop down, and then... I might do that. And just hope none of them land on me. Thanks for the talisman. Thanks for this. Okay. Now. Ooh, more of you. Ah. And more of you. Even more than I saw. Thanks, none of you, for landing on me. Good. Oh, come on. There we go. Boy. They drop a lot of rocks. What was that thing I got? Enhances weapon throwing attacks. A talisman depicting an ancient smithing hammer. In ancient times, smithing was a divine act, and blacksmiths interpreted the script they received in the wrinkles of molten steel to imbue weapons with souls. Neat. So this would power up the spear and the throwing dagger weapon. Also, presumably, just like any thrown items, like throwing daggers, that sort of thing, I would guess. Neat. But yeah, now I feel like we drop down. No one's sneaking up, right? Okay. Slimes. Come on. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Not sticking around to fight you. Especially if you stay put. Yes. Yes. It's a really cool molten anvil thing. I do want to grab some of the goodies, though. Are you going to be cool? Just stay and put. Yay! You are... Yeah, like... You're not interactable. You're not randomly an NPC I can talk to. Okay. Onward! What does this do? Oh. Huh. Well, I guess this is a good way to not get snuck up on. Not that there was much concern of that, but... Sure. All right, one of you, two of you. 
one shiny and what seems like a path forward that way. And another rock I want that way. Do, 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 do. Nope. Okay. Yeah, too early again. Grab and run. Run! Oh, that's not a place. That's not a place you can go. I see. I misunderstood what the place was. My bad. And now, because I closed it behind me, now it's harder to... Uh, well, I did this to myself. Ha! That's funny. Alright, let me get back there. Oh, I... Okay, I get it now. I understand now why this is here. That's why there's a slight delay. Clever. And this, I think, might actually be the end of the, uh... Forge, like this is the objective you're trying to get to. An ancient meteoric ore greatsword. Goodness, that sounds great. One of the treasures of the ruined forges. A great sword of ancient meteoric ore ending in a sharp point. Fashioned from an excavated shard of an arrowhead that once was a part of the old god's arsenal. A capable piercing weapon that excels at thrusting attacks. White light charge summons white light from the crevice in the weapon's ancient meteoric ore, using its power for a charging attack which pierces foes additional input to cause the light to explode. Gracious. That's a lot of things for one sword to do and be. Colossal sword. Sort of like strength arcane. I've got just enough arcane to equip it. Also, there's this thing. Smith Script Cirque. Ooh, a backhand blade. Nifty. Circular backhand blade engraved with a Smith Script. A throwing weapon created through the smithing arts. Execute a strong attack to throw the backhand blade, causing it to fly in a curved trajectory. Incompatible with Ashes of War that grants scales, etc. Wow, that's really cool. Lots of really unique weapons. Way into it. I do need to grab my runes, though. That's going to be important. Still need to do that part, which means I still need to run around. Uh, goodness. Hang on. Boy, I sure did make things harder on myself for no reason. Where do they end up? There they are. Of course. Well, we already grabbed all the items I wanted in here. I'll be taking these. Nothing else of interest. Cool. All right. Bye. Let's get out of here. And we're free. Let's step outside, and even without upgrading some of these, I'm just curious to see what some of the movesets on some of the stuff we've picked up look like. Just to get a taster. And I might upgrade some of them later. To actually play around with them. There we go. Yep. Forgot there's two of you. Okay, so like... Of all the wild and weird weapons... We've been picking up. There's the stone sheathed sword, which I actually did try a little bit... Earlier, and it's... I mean, it's just a sword. Neat, but a pretty standard sword. 
doesn't even really have anything that unique for a Ash of War or anything. Milady, we got to look at earlier. That we got to look at earlier. Here's the new one we just picked up. Neat. It's big, all right. And then... Whew. And then you can do a follow-up. What kind of attack to make that, like, explode? That's really cool. Additional input causes the light to explode. Goodness. That's cool. We might... That might be one to try. Later. Karian Sorcery Sword, which I don't even think I can... Nope, can't even equip that one. Or the Spirit Sword. Horned Warrior's Sword is neat. I like the... Like, special, unique ash on this one. Not quite enough, I think, to, uh... Level it up and actually use... Both of them, but, like, I do like this. It's pretty cool. What else? Uh, we've looked at the backhand blade. Have not yet looked at this new... Kind of alternative one that has, like, a special throw? Neat. I really like their choice to make a bunch of weapons kind of automatically give you two of them. Allowing you to dual wield them without having to have two of them. Like, independently without having to find two of them. It's real nice. So if you do the special... Alright, it's got that move there. How do you throw them again? Uh, inputs determine which side you strike from. Burr, 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 burr. Execute a strong attack to throw it, causing it to fly. Okay. Strong attack. Cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Um, seen these, seen that. Serpent flail. has kind of like a unique skill to it, right? Neat. I can see this being actually pretty good. What are the stats on this one again? Oh yeah, Dex Faith. That's right, that's right, that's right. And... I do like this one and the unique skill. And I don't think I've tried this one out, actually. Big club-type weapon, right? Is that hurting me to use? No, no, it's just doing some bleed effect. I can see this one being pretty good. As a smashy-type weapon, although... I do quite like this anvil hammer. Especially the, uh unique skill it has on it. Look at this. Spikes. It's so cool. Uh, this is the throwing spear, I think. So, standard spear moves. Throw. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like having more... Like, really unique functionality across some of these weapons. Egon's great bow. We should give it a quick attempt. Uh, oh, do I not have any? Do I not have any equipped right now? Not great arrows, I suppose. So a regular shot, but then there's the unique move. Where you shoot and yell. This is how you can tell it is Egon's bow. 
Good times. And I think that's all of the weapon toys. Lots of fun stuff in here. I feel like I... I should definitely level up one of the backhand blades at some point. Whichever one seems like it's most leaning toward strength slash faith. I know I can change the scaling on a bunch of these, but I feel like we're going to find one that's going to be more kind of naturally leaning in that direction. And I'm cool waiting for that one. This does seem like something to put some resources into. I mean, look at it. Perhaps in a later episode this week, I'll have that all set up and we can try it. Where's my hammer? Here we go. And my axes. All right. We're ready to roll once again, but where? We need to check this uh, bunch of ruins out because we've not actually wandered around yet. I haven't thoroughly checked all of this area. I know there's a ghost flame dragon fighting some knights that'll have to get dealt with here. Through here is the Fort of Reprimand, and we've handled all that pretty thoroughly, I think. We didn't figure out how to get up here. Also, got to figure out how to get down here, because that's going to give us access to all this up here. But also, this down here, which seems to me like it might be the path that gets you down into whatever this is. I have no idea what this is. Before we even do that, though, I just remembered. This. This island. My guess about how to get to this island proved false. And uh, folks in comments were saying that I do have the means to get here. There is like a hidden path. It's just very well hidden. And I'd really, really, really love to see what's on this island. Let's go look real fast. Okay. I already looked for, like, a path of shallow water and didn't have a lot of luck there. So I am guessing there is a cave entrance or hole or... Is this? No, this is just dark rock, which is not a cave entrance or a hole. Something very well hidden out here. Wait. Oh. A hole that is a cave entrance. Of course. Both things. Even if this isn't it, it's also interesting. And a little scary. Kind of dark. Um. Hmm. Well, this is the direction leading to the actual island, I think. Let's, uh, try this first. There's ghosts who will ignore me and be cool, right? Right? Ghosts? That's fine, too. Hello. I see little crabs, which I take to mean there is a big crab waiting to surface. If I'm lucky, actually, this is a pretty big room. Something big is going to surface and attack me in here. I see. You saw nothing. I was never here. Oh, 
I think we're gonna get out. Huh? Yeah! Sorry. I'm just... No, no, you... Uh. Listen, I'm just... I'm a tourist. Ow. This isn't necessary. Please, no. These lightning axes are proving effective. All right, let's explore a little. Another big crab, okay. I didn't know that was a grab. Ow, crab. Rude. Come on. Nope. Ah. I don't know how I dodged it the first time. Lucky positioning, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we lucked out, and that was the last big crab out here. Nope. Perfumed oil of Rana. That seems interesting. A small bottle wrapped in a bright red cloth, filled with flammable perfume oil, uses FP to spout flames forward. The dancers of Rana kept these concealed as they dance, marking their height of their passion with an explosion of searing flame and sweet, enticing scents. That's cool. There's not a lot of, like, locations and cultures within Souls games where... The items you pick up give you a sense for their, like, arts. You get a lot of sense for their societies and their warfare. And definitely all of their many crimes as a society. You don't always get a look into, like, their culture in that way. I like it. What else can we find out here that is not crabs? Crabs are fine. They're just not what I was hoping to find out on this island. I can get attacked by giant crabs at home. Hmm... Definitely need to go in there. At least the worms are cool out here. Much more chill. So watching back through previous episodes, th those big structures out there, I'm kind of leaning more and more toward those just being giant coffins. Especially given, like, there's a... there is a glovewort planted in a ceremonial spot, the same spot on each one. Like, a death flower thing is planted at the head of each of those things, and they are pretty coffin-shaped despite being enormous. I don't know what these are coffins for. Giants, I guess. 
or demigods of some other kind. It's cool, though. Last one of these I found had a knight that killed me a lot of times. I'm a little nervous. Well. Dancer of Rana. Ooh, a dancer. With fire. Yes. I'm guessing yes. Cool. What a cool moveset. There's the fire. <laughs> I wonder if I go about attempting some dual wielding with the axes. I wonder how... I wonder how your poise is. You are faster than me. I might be able to bully you with these, though. And if not with these, then the claws, definitely. That seems to be working. Yeah, that's fair. Haha! -ha. We had the same idea. Boy, you are faster than me, though. If you get those hits in first, it is very hard. For me to keep the attacks going. Heesh. So far, so good, though. Just don't get greedy and push it. Haha! -ha. What a cool fight. Really cool duel you get to do. There we go. Neat. Dancing Blade of Rana, Dancer's Hood, Dancer's Dress, Rad. Long black trousers worn underneath the bright red dress of the Rana dancers. Enhances the power of dancing attacks. Designed to protect the sword-wielding hand, bright red dress of the Rana dancers. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion, and the most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end, losing even their names as they dance on. To see the passion fade is to see the dancer's flame extinguished. And decorative swords ablaze with impassioned red. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Strike enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. Unending dance, a furious dance formed by a succession of slashing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as stamina allows. That's really cool. Love it. Very, very good. Okay. We might have found most of what's on this island, but there is the path we took to get here, which did have another direction. There might not be much there other than the way out, but we should have a look. There's the other crab. I'm good, thanks. I think that'll do it here. Back to the cave. Unless, right? Nothing? Okay. It's so rare these caves let you stay mounted up. I guess because they're usually little mini-dungeons. 
Sneak, sneak, sneak. Not in the mood. Okay. Now what's on the other side over here? Sorry ghosts, not meaning to scare you some more, just passing through. Hello? Where is this? Alright, these are the explodey ones. Stay well clear. Maintain respectful distance. Oh. Neat. They kind of give you a warning. I'm going. Intimidating. Hey, ghosts. And ghost dog. Dog's not going to be chill about this, are they? Nope. Nor is their owner. Fine. I guess it's hard to live and let live when it's already a little late for you. Hey. One more goodie. Nice. And now we're here. Oh, yeah, I guess we just couldn't get on top of this one, because, yeah, that makes sense. Neat. And so pretty, goodness. What a zone. Well, can't think of a much prettier place to sign off. Let's go ahead and call it. I will see you all tomorrow as we do get back to Shadow Altus, because there's actually a lot back there still. Thanks for the tip about the island. Goodbye!